Greetings everyone and welcome. I want to share a dream with you. It's about the cauldron. So I was a spectator in this night vision and from where I stood I saw an audience setting similar to a talk show. The setting was dark. On the stage I could see a cauldron, a giant metal pot with a man sitting in it. The cauldron was round and measured to the height of his shoulders. As he sat in this cauldron, another man in a dark-colored long robe stood outside the pot and intermittently walked around it sprinkling something in the pot. In this dream, I saw big beads, trinkets, and other spiritual and ritual items. In the dream, I could tell it was a religious ritual, and I had a feeling of displeasure for the ignorance of the people. Now for the revelation of this dream. Today, some people are looking for the Most High God in all the wrong places. They believe they must have a charm, a trinket, be they chains, good luck bracelets, and seemingly religious items and practices of tradition to feel protected. They think that once they have something they can see and that it's tangible, it's enough. However, this is a warning. Arise, people of God overcome your slumber be aware of the enemy's devices know that god is not mocked he is not looking for religious people he is wanting relationship with you with me with us according to the book of john chapter 4 verse 24 it says god is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth in order to establish a relationship he requires our surrender and his salvation so again, I admonish you to not be deceived by the tricks of the workers of iniquity. These items act as open gateways to the occult, to devil worship, to Satan's stronghold, resulting in errors in your life. Some errors include mental disorders, physical illnesses, and financial doom. In 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7 says, But refuse profane and all wise fables, and exercise thyself rather unto godliness. So people of Almighty God, arise and shine. Wake up and walk as children of the day, and not children of the night. Be sober, be vigilant. The word says, your traditions have made the word of God of none effect. We are to repent of our sins, meditate on the word of God, seek God's face daily, and be led by the Holy Spirit. So, make the right investment of your time and for your future. Make Jesus your Lord and Savior and commit your ways to him. Remember, Jesus loves you and he cares.